Hello, today we are going to look at a coral reef and we're going to learn about two different ways of sampling. We're going to use two tools together. Now, what I've got down here is my coral reef. So this coral reef is big, it's on the ocean floor, I'm looking down on it and I can see all these different creatures. So they're all over the floor. The way to sample this, because I can't count every single creature, I'm going to get a sample of them and I'll use what's called the transect. The transect is this line, the string, and it's literally a string. It's usually about 20 meters long, and you see it runs all the way through our reef, just going in a straight line. Now, if I did the whole thing, you can see I have a lot more string that I would use and run through the reef, but this is just gonna be a small example. So on my trans transect, every two meters we're going to see a little red spot right there and i go down two more meters and i see another red spot okay the reason i have these spots is because i'm going to use this big yellow square that's my quadrat and i'm going to sample just what's in this quadrat so at every two meter mark so there's my mark down there i'm going to put the corner and i lay my transect down and then i just count what's in the transect okay so i don't know exactly how many of each organism there is in the whole reef but this gives me a way to estimate it to get a, a calculate about how many there are very common method. And then I take my quadrat and I go down to the next two meter mark, which again is down there where that red dot is. And I place this down. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to count up that square and add it to my total. You would do this all the way down the transect line. Every two meters, you put down your quadrat and count. And that's what we're going to simulate today. All right, we're going to do two different samples. In just a moment, you're going to be doing a count from the quadrats. Now, I have to make a little change here, so make sure you note this. There are several pages where you're going to do your count on, and you're looking for the pictures, and it goes on and on. If you see a yellow tang in the first quadrat, then you're gonna mark how many you see. One, two, three. If it's zero, you don't have to put anything. But the first area is going to be for these two counts. And that is a marine protected area, okay? So there's gonna be two quadrats that I'm gonna show you. The first quadrat, for the marine protected area, and then the second quadrat for the marine protected area. So this row is only for the first square, and this one's only for the second square. Then I'm gonna show you another scenario, which is for these two. And that one is from a developed site, meaning that there is um, uh, people and structures and stuff that's being dumped into the water. I think it talks about there's a golf course near there. These two are for the developed sites. And then you're going to see the first quadrat. You do your count. And then you do the second quadrat and your count. You will not have anything in this last column. You will not do a fifth quadrat. Okay. Two quadrats for the first which I'm just about to tell you about, and two for the second, the developed, which will come after. Okay, so my first scenario, the first reef I'm looking at is the one in a marine protected uh, area. Uh, and so I'm a scientist, I put my transect down, then I'm gonna put down my quadrat. And what I want you to do is count up what you see in here. You may need to pause the video. I'll try and get a little closer. So 
So this is the first quadrat. Mark down all the creatures that you see here and how many of each. And if they're touching just a little bit like this one, that counts. Okay, let's go to the next quadrat. And you're going to write this one down too. So we find our mark. Lay my quadrat down. And again, you might need to pause the video, but you're gonna count up all the different animals that are on our list. All the ones that are in the quadrat. Okay, now I have my second reef. Now this reef is the one that is um, right at the um, border of very human uh, developed area. So there's runoff, there's some structures around the area. There are things that are being um, dumped into the water. So now I think I lay down my transect and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before to see what the data is telling me about the populations. So, on your paper, you're going to count up all the creatures, just like last time, that are in this first quadrat. All right. Pause if you need to. Then I move it over again to my second spot. And the same thing. I want you to get a count of what you see here in this quadrat. And we're gonna compare these two sites. The marine protected site compared to the one near human development. Um, and also remember for the quadrats, you would have, five, generally speaking, you would have five of the quadrats all lined up in a straight line using the transect line as your guide. All right, uh, ways of sampling a population, estimating the size and diversity of species within an ecosystem. All right, thanks.